Hi guys! It's the 16th of December and this is the first time I'm out with my snow scooter in the uh, attempt to uh, create my first trail for the dog sledding rides. And there's still a bit too little snow uh, unfortunately but uh, yeah, I have to get cracking because it's almost Christmas and uh, a lot of tourists want to do this. But uh, I have to go and look if it's at all possible. But uh, what I want to do also is uh, Every time I find some interesting track in the snow, I'll give you a little uh, peek of that and try to see what it is. And right here, but um, that is a roe deer. So, the roe deer marked my trail, so that's good. You see the snow is not really that deep, it's uh, yeah, somewhere between 15 and 20 centimeters. But it is a really nice winter landscape, that it is. And that's my trusty old snow scooter. And that is how it should look behind me, and that's okay. If it's like that all the way, I can uh, start training on the snow. I got my uh, trusty work pack with me, survival stuff. It's always nice to have some stuff with you when you're out in nature on a snowmobile because you get way out and way out into nature and it can be a very long walk back home. So uh, at least have some stuff to make fire, uh, have a container there, first aid kit, actually have a survival blanket this time as well, so always nice. So I'll be going on and get back to you. Ha. I totally forgot that at the end of uh, last year's season I actually put some things up the trees. See? There's a little plastic marker there. The thing is that it's so hard to find my way through this one. I, I always have managed to find it. But especially now when you have very little snow it looks very different because a lot of the small trees aren't covered yet and you don't see the the, yeah, the natural exits that you that you would normally see when there, when there is maybe half a meter more snow, and that's usually when you when you make these. But now I want to make this already now, so very great with my little markers. That is where we have to go in, and that's just tight with with, with, with pine trees. And being here doesn't really reveal any natural exits. This trail that's a bird. You see the marks of his chest through the snow? So I, I guess this was a snow grouse. I don't know if that is the real name, it's called Reaper here. And uh, but I just saw one flying here as well, just uh, just, uh, just a second ago, and he was white, so this, this is a really fresh trail, so I guess that was my snow grouse. He went there to do something, you see, and then went on. It's really nice to see that it drags his his breast through the through the snow. There is this strange line, and you see that goes on, 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 on. So here is where it landed. It went on, took a little turn there, made around, and continued that way. And that was the the trail we just saw. But you see here exactly is where it pretty fast landed. It made it made these these landing stripes. That's pretty cool. And here you will see that it's the same Reaper still doing the other way around. It takes off. See? Two feet. It's really hard to see but you see the those 
see the wings stretch out his wings and took off there we had a nice moose walked into this direction Actually, that's funny. <laughs> Been lying here. Yeah. So I thought that was a nice place to take a little nap, I guess. And then it went off that way. And here we are coming to the really big bog. So this is going to be exciting to see how that is. We have now exited this forest and we're going out on that bog. The markers really helped me. But uh, on the bog I don't have markers, so there it's, it will be, yeah, based on previous experience, basically. And there they are. That was the moose. It was the same trail. It's a mother and a calf. It's a bit hard to... Not shake, of course. So finally, I managed to get a pretty nice moose on film for you all. There are so many moose here, and I never manage. Right, so here they went. That was where they were running here. Both of them. That's a set of tracks. Also all these little sticks you see here, that's part of a very old thing they called Renschildring. That is where the Sama people would gather their, their reindeer for uh, marking them, ear marking them. Or Yeah, so th this is a, it, it's basically a very big circle with small circles around it where the, the different owners would, would put around it, I guess. I'm not an expert on that, but at least it's man-made and it's very old, this. It's not used anymore.
all that worked. Yeah, that's okay. There were a few marshes uh, box that I went to just a little bit earlier and I, I actually saw, saw behind my uh, my snowmobile that I that there was a lot of water so well sure it looks like winter. So we're back at where we started with the road there track. I, uh, I managed to create a, tr uh, a trail for the for the mushing. It's still really really bad. Uh, I can use it for training, but it's uh, it's not for uh, inexperienced mushers. But that doesn't matter. There is now a little ground, a base, because I, I kind of compressed the snow on it, and I hope there will be a little bit more snow in the coming days, and I can take the snowmobile uh, a few more times and really compress it and then it will be a good base for a trail. This was only the shortest uh, round I have, the sh shortest trail. I even made it a little round to uh, to even cut that in half uh, for starting the, the sled training. You don't want to take your dogs and have them uh, run 10 kilometers immediately. So there is, a, there is a little turning round in the half of that and that will be a great start for them to start training with the sled. But uh, it's looking great. It's, it's so nice. So it certainly is winter, but I just need about 10-20 centimeters of extra snow to, uh, to, to be really comfortable with guests uh, driving on this. But it doesn't matter. I cannot start training at least. So that's, that's a plus. And we have some, uh, we have some tours where, where the guests are sitting in sled and, and that we can do now as well. So yeah, I'm really happy. It was, it was looking a bit gloom for the for the Christmas, but uh, let's see. We we may have a chance now. Saw some nice tracks, some nice animals. I'm really happy to finally have been able to show you some moose. Uh, I've always followed tracks of moose, but I've never really been able to get them on film. When I walk around here, I quite often see moose, but. Uh, Getting them on film is, uh, is, is, a, is a different thing, apparently, because then they stay away. But these ones, they were really, yeah, they were even a bit curious. So that's nice. So I hope the next film is, uh, there will be some dogs involved. So see you on the next film, guys. Hey. Got your trail fixed today. Are you happy now? 
Yeah, you're happy now. Yeah.